Hey everyone, Steve here from the Peter Kahn Academy Dubai. Uh, last month we talked about the chipping action, uh, this month we're going to talk about pitching. So obviously last month with the chipping we talked about the hinging through the wrist. This month we're going to talk about pitching where we need to add a little bit of the up and down cocking motion. So again a very simple shot with regular practice, it does become quite easy. Um, obviously because we're pitching the ball we're going to move away from kind of the five, six, seven and eight iron and we're going to talk a little bit more about our wedges, pitching wedge through the lob wedge. So if you watch the action here, uh, as I go back, okay there's a little bit of hinging there, not much in the wrists, but as I get up to about hip high then the wrists are going to cock upwards, okay. From here it's important we then bring that club back down through position back onto the ball. Um, what you will find once you get past say parallel, as the club starts to cock up it also gets a little bit behind the hands and the, 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 really the reaction from here is to let the club drop behind and you see a lot of mistakes with people who struggle with their pitching, as this club drops behind they react to it with the body or with the hands, so they can hit a Ferrari shots maybe out to the right or they try and rotate the hands over and maybe pull, pull them left or hit them heavy, fat or thin. There's a variety of things that can happen. So it's important that once we let those wrists cock up, that we're letting the natural weight of the club just drop down and onto the golf ball. We're not trying to react to it with the body or with the hands and arms. That's one of the key factors. Um, so we've got a little pitch shot here up to the flag, we've, we've probably got about 20 yards. So again, we don't need too much width in the stance, okay, so we're, we're, we're pretty upright and like we talked about again, we love the vertical shaft angle, that just helps us to allow that club to naturally drop onto the back of the ball. If we get too far away from it, as we've talked about in many articles before, it's very easy now for the club to drop down and hit way behind the ball and then again the, the, the body reacts and, and you miss hit. So we're going to get still pretty vertical with this. Again feeling that the, the, the left heel's a little bit off the ground. Uh, and the initial takeaway, like I said not too much movement in the wrists, maybe a little bit of a hinging motion. And then once we feel as though we're kind of hip high, we let the wrist cock up. From here we're going to let the club drop back down onto the ball. We're not going to try and react to it with the body. Okay, so let's give it a go. So we go back to around hip high, the wrists work up and then we let it drop back down onto the ball and we produce a nice flighted shot up to the pin. Um, so again, realizing how the wrist action works and understanding how you should be letting the club go with gravitational forces and drop back onto the golf ball are the key factors for good pitching. If you want a little bit more information on how this all works, please come to the academy here at the Emirates Golf Club and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.